This is Daniel Clark making felt art. Hi, I'm here with Wendo, and today she's going to teach me how to make felt art. And I'm so excited because I haven't made felt art before. Hi. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. So, you know that felt is made out of wool, mm -hmm. sheep's wool, and I can show you some of my pieces. This is my cat, Cheddar. My cat looks a lot like this. You have an orange cat too? Yep. What's his name? Russell. Russell. That's a good name. So you got a really long tail? Yeah, it's probably maybe about that long. Yeah. Chatter, you can always see him because he runs behind the couch. You can see his tail. <laughs> it's funny. How did you make this cat? I used wool that we're gonna we're gonna take some wool later and we're gonna do the same thing. And you use hot soapy water and you squish it together and it becomes felt. Can I see another picture? Sure. These bright colors, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. What kind of felt picture are we making today? We're going to make a picture of a flower. We're going to go Ooh. and find a flower that we like in this greenhouse, and we're going to do that one. This is a beautiful place. Let's go see if we can find any fish. Fishies oh, in look here. at these red tulips. Oh, yeah, there's a fish. Oh. Look at these. Are they ever pretty? Mm -hmm. They kind of got sharp little edges on them. Can I make a felt picture of one of these plants? I like them because they're red. Absolutely, Daniel. Ah, they smell good. Yeah, they do. Hi, fishies. So, Daniel, what did we decide to make? A red tulip. Great. This is Daniel Cook making a red tulip. Cool, okay. Now, we're gonna put these little pieces of fabric down first. And that'll be what we lay the fiber on. And we're gonna start with, you said you wanted to make a yellow background? Well, uh, we can do all different colors. Take the end. Don't hold it so tight. So this is going to be in the background. How do we make the leaves? We uh, use the same green. Now we're going to make it a little bit thicker, so you can't see through it as much. We'll put a point on the end. Stick that. Why does it have to, have to be a lot like it see through? Because, because of these little scaly claws on the wool, you have to sort of pull it apart so that it has a chance to tangle up with all the other pieces of fiber around it. And the way it is now, it's all running in one direction. All the fibers have been combed. And so we want to sort of mix them up a bit. How do I meet the top of the flower? Well, you pull really gently. And you use your fingers to sort of twist the top. And then you put it down so that the point is facing up like that. And if you want to make a 3D, uh, come to me. Like this? And I have some dark red. You want to make some shadows on it? Ooh. And then we put this fabric on top. Just make a big, fluffy pillow. We're going to take some nice, warm water. Why don't we put hand soap in it? We put hand soap in to make every single fiber kind of slippery so that it, when it, you squish it together, it moves easier, it tangles together better. That's it. That? Yep. Whole hand flat down. Rolling is the best way to keep everything in place. Squish, 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 squish. Now we don't want to wring the water out. Okay, Daniel, I think we're all finished. And we have to pull the top fabric away. Ooh. Okay. And then... Looks pretty. We put... Let's just throw that over here. And now we take the felt and pull it from the, top, the bottom. 
fabric. Kind of sounds like Velcro, doesn't it? Kind of feels like Velcro as well. See? There looks we are. Nice. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, they're very cool. This is my felt flowers. Here's the petal, here's another, and another. Here's the leaf, and another leaf, and the stem. And here's the background. All the way around there. Thank you, Linda, for teaching me how to make this beautiful felt art picture. It was a lot of fun. You're welcome.